Hello everybody, yes, B Dog Nuffs here again. Um got the got a big crew here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen people in the class, the most so far. That is great. And today we're gonna to do area and perimeter. So people, let's share your screen and let's get going. Oh, we've got someone else coming in. I think we've got somebody else coming in. Hold on a second. That that's Brendan, that's me. Hey, can, can Millie come in? Can I, can I, can Millie do that on this one please? One second, let's get uh, Amelia, let's come here. Amelia, you can join. One second. Amelia, why is it like that? Amelia, you can join. Look. Right, I've just mute, I've just muted you Madison while you're, while you're, while you're talking so they don't get confused. Right, so, uh, yeah, if you've got anything to say obviously, then feel free to speak as long as it's, as long as like kind of, you're listening as well. What I want to do, this is a starter activity. This is a kind of a game that I've made up myself a few years, well, I say a few years ago. So it's a long time ago, probably before most of you were born. It's a very simple, simple game that you can play. What I'd like you to do, you're going to draw two boxes. A box like that, like a window, and another box like that. We'll play this game, a couple of rounds of this game, just to see how it works. So you're going to draw that, you're going to put a little tick on top of one and a cross on top of the other. Off you go. Okay. When you've done that, hopefully some of you have got the option to put a, um, well, I've not got gallery view available to me. I lost people. I haven't lost people, have I? Mm -hmm. See where I've not got, oh, this is crazy. Oh, yeah, because I'm sharing the screen that way. You should have the opportunity, the option in here to um, put a thumbs up when you're done, I think. Can yeah, anybody, you can. Can you, can, anybody, can you find that At option? At the bottom, yeah. Thumbs up, look. Mm. There, I've just done it. Hang on. Yeah, no, so I should have to see thumbs up. Just there we go, it. I've got two thumbs up. Great, 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 great. Where do you do thumbs up? There you go, Jake's found it. So, Madison and Millie, are you going to draw those boxes? Yeah. Yeah, Hayden's yeah. found it, great. Yeah, Todd found it. Yes, Isabel's got it, yeah. Millie's got it. Right. Awesome. Do we have to do a thumbs up? You don't have to, Josh has got it, but it's good to see that you can do it. Mel, have you drawn, have you drawn the diagrams, Mel? Mel have you drawn the yeah. Great, thank you. Hey, Izzy, have you drawn the diagrams? Was it Kate disappearing? Who, me? You've got it, Toby. No, you can't. Once I've seen it, it's fine. It'll go off. I'm doing it. Great. So we're all we're all ready to go, yeah? Yeah. Sweet. All right, and super. Let's get this this inside here. Uh, boxes have been drawn. Thank you. <laughs> right. So here's the rules. Let me get my special dice. So what I've got is a special dice. So um. Uh, let me see if I can show you so, so you know I'm not cheating. Here, there is a special dice. Ooh. It's uh, zero to nine on it. So it's zero all the way to nine. All right, so you can have all the digits we can get. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to demonstrate with you how to play the game. And then once I've done that, you're gonna, you guys can play. All right? Uh, it shouldn't take us too long. It's a bit of fun. Uh, why not? So back to my game. So here's my board, right? Yeah. So what I do is I roll my dice first. You can hear it, hopefully. Oh, there we go. I've got a three. So I need to decide where I put a three. Do I put it in my tick box? Or do I put it in my cross box? And I roll again, I get a nine. Do I put it in my tick box? Do I put it in my cross box? I get a nine again. Oh, that's going to that's gonna go in here. So I'll put that in the wrong place. So never mind. I'm I got a one. So I'm going to put the one here, I think. Three, I'll put that um, here. I've got a two. I'm going to put that um, here, here. I've got a zero. Yes, I'm going to put the zero here. And I've got a two. I'm going to put that two here. When I've finished with all eight, I add these two numbers together. So 93 add two is 95. 93 add 12. Uh, 93, 94, 95, 105, 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105. 105
So what I've actually done is I have tied my game. My objective, I wanted this num this box to be closer to 100. My target was 100. That's my target. And, I, and this, is, this is not closer because they're both five away. So I have, I have drawn my game. Right? It's not as easy as it. Once you put a number in, you can't take it out again. Once you put a number in, you cannot take it out again. All right? So, are you ready to play your game? Yeah. I don't have a die. I've, no, I'm going to roll them all for you. I'm going to roll it all for you. Okay. All right, so I'm going to look at all of you now. So I'm going to stop the share. No, um, I'm going to stop the share so I can look at all of you. There we go. Right, here we go then. Rolling the dice. Your roll is... It's a six. Can you put your six down? You want to go put your six down, please? Six down somewhere. Great. Got you. And your next number is a seven. Seven. Put the seven somewhere. And your next is a three. Three. There, you got to put the three. There. Okay, good. And your next number is an eight. Be careful now. Be careful. Because these, these numbers, you put them in the wrong place, you could end up with a really big number. Eight. And we have a four. Four. Is the four going to go? I could have done that too, but... That's oh, Hayden's in a bit of a problem here now. He's like, well, I'm not too sorry to put that. And your next number is... Zero! Yeah. No. How many numbers is that, Toby? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six, two more to go. It's a four. No. Oh, it's a four. Do you get two? Oh, God. Yeah. It's a zero. <laughs> It's a zero, so Joe is celebrating, right? So what you got to do now, if I go back to my screen, once you put them all in, if you manage to do it, um, you have. Let me show you. You have to add them to add them together. So you have um, ninety three add two. So you, three of the two is five. Nine and zero is nine. So ninety five. 3 out of 2 is 5, 9 out of 1 is 10, that makes 105. And hopefully, your tick box is closer than your cross box. Yeah. Mine you've is. done that, you've done all right. You have it. it. Oh, I was just 20. So, I'm going to just have a. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to ask you now, so I'm going to stop the share. I'm going to go through the, through the class. Did you win or did you lose? Basically, is what I'm looking for. So, um,. Toby, win or lose? Or draw? Lost. Lost. Joe, win or lose? I won. Won. Harry, win or lose? Uh, Harry. Uh, Harry, because he's got Harry's on there. Jack, win or lose? Won. Oh, whatever. Bradley, win or lose? Win. Lost then. <laughs> I lost my first ever game. Okay. Millie, win or lose? What did you get? Did you win or lose? Lose. Yeah, good. I lost my first time and I played it as well. Um, Sydney, did you win or lose? One. Isabel? Lost. Oh, Jake? Uh, one. Oh, Mel? One. Izzy? One. Lost. Oh, Caleb? Lost. Lost. Josh? Uh, I won. You won? Hayden? One. And Jay? One. And Maddie? One. And Millie? I did not get it. <laughs> you did not get it? Oh, well, next time you have to keep up. Well, you, hopefully you'll get it when I do this next round, because this next round is a special round. I'm going to split you into teams. Yes. All right. So as you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven ladies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine gents. Mm. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh, okay, I'm going to split you up into um, halves, I think. So I'm, as I'm looking at it, I'm going to have... I, I can see my half better than you, so I'm going to write down my half. So team, team one is going to be Joe, 
Millie, Caleb, Maddie and Millie, Jack, Bradley, and Josh. That's the one team. So the other team would leave us with Izzy and Isabel, Sydney, uh, Hayden and Jay, Mel, Jake, and Toby. All right, so there's our two teams. And then I, I'm actually making a team of my own for this round because you, you because it's always fun to have more than two, three. So what? Nice and simple round here coming up. So listen out for your names because I'm going to share the screen so you have to listen out for your names when I call your name out. So this box here is the box for Team uh, Team Toby. Team Toby. So if you're in Toby's team, the second team I call, that's you. The first team I called, we call that team uh, team Caleb. I don't have got my team on my own here. I've got two of mine. So I'm Millie, gonna... that Millie, you're in Maddie's, you're, you're in team Joe. No, team Caleb, sorry. No, you need a tick in a cross box. <laughs> so, no, you don't, there's no tick in a cross box here. This is basically free for all. So what happens is now I roll a number for Team Toby, and um, uh, we'll start off with. Um, I do not get to get all. Well, you'll be able to see it in a minute, Millie. So Toby, you'll get to choose, right? You get to choose in a minute um, where this number goes in your box or Caleb's box or in my box. All right. So Team Toby gets to choose. So it's a uh, eight. So Toby, as captain, you make the first decision. Where do you want that eight to go? Do you want to keep it? Do you want to give it away? Wait, what do you want to do with it? Oh, yes, Jack. In what team am I? You're in. You're in team Caleb. Okay. Toby, make the decision. I'm giving it to you. Me. Where are you putting it then? In the one box. Which one? Here, 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 here. On the right. Here. Yeah. Thank you. I don't know why you did that, but we shall see. Uh, team Caleb. Caleb, you got a zero. Where do you want it to go, Captain keep Caleb? It, keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Um, I'm just going to go Toby's. It. Sorry. I'm going to go for Toby. Do Toby, where? Um, top left. The top left. I want to say. Okay. Right, my turn. It's a six. I think I'm going to put mine here. I'm not going to be holding to anybody today. I'm going to keep it. So now I'm going to pick a person at random to call out from Team Toby. And it's uh, one. Now, Team Toby, random number. Mel. Right. So, Mel, you can choose to keep the one. Put it anywhere you want to, or you can put it somewhere else. You don't want to see the box. Remember, the objective is to get as close to 100 as possible. Um, I'm going to send it to you. To me? And where are you going to put it? Um, under that. Oh, that's good. That's good. Ooh. I'm really going to put it under this with 16. I'm going to Right. Team Caleb. The random one from Caleb is... Maddie. Maddie. Maggie, it's a zero. Where do you want to put that? Brendan. No, wait. We're, we're, are we in Caleb? Team? You're in Team Caleb, yeah. I'm going to put it on Toby. Um, under. No, there. Like, no, it's not there. 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 Where? Oh, it's got, it's here. there, there, there. Ouch, that's harsh. <laughs> Toby, that's all I'm wrong. Right, my turn. You've got a no. It's a oh, seven. No. Oh, that's it's a seven. Um, <laughs> uh, right, so. Um, oh no, I don't have to put it seven. I'm going to be harsh now. Sorry, Toby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's Team Toby, it's just three. I don't mind taking it, Toby. Okay, that means you'd be on 99, so no, it's not going to you. Right, so let's give this option to Jake. 
Jake, where would you like these three to go? Sorry? Keeping it. Here. The bottom right. Bottom right. There. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, no, back to me again, huh? Okay, then. It's a six. Hmm. It's a six. Let's fight it out. I'm going to fight it out with you guys. I'm going to fight it out and see if that does us too. Okay. Fight it out. Pressure's on now. Uh, team Toby, it's a nine. Team Toby, it's a nine. And it's going to have like, um, Hayden, where would you like the nine to go? Um, um, team Toby. You can keep it. Don't blame yeah. me, mate. Don't blame me. That takes you to 16. It's better yeah. than nothing, Tyre. You see? Wow. Right? Not far from 100, just massively away. <laughs> <laughs> and the next one. Uh, uh, here we go here. Uh, we haven't talked to you yet. Uh, Josh! Josh, it is a seven, Josh. What do you want to do with it? Um, wait, which team am I on? You're on Team Caleb. Oh, I'm um, putting it in the top right. Yours? Yeah. Okay, that's decent. So we need a three. We need a three. Need a three now, but I need a three as well. So if any, if it's a three, what do I do? Do I give it to you or do I take it? That's the harsh. Yeah, we need three. It's a, it's a six. Hmm. What should I do with the six? <laughs> I think I'll put it in here. No. That makes you one hundred and thirty. Oh. Oh. Well, your defense is last roll. No, no, we need a nine. Please give me nine. It is no. a seven. No, no. Seven. Nine. One hundred and thirty-nine. That, yes. that yes. makes Team K the winner. Yes. I'm surprised we didn't win. So, uh, wow. let, me, let me just pause that a second now before we go into this area of primitive stuff. Um, right, so that game, as simple as it is, you can play with lots of different things. You can have like four or five team battling out. And then you can have just like two people focusing on. So I could have like Joe's own grid. And you could really say, but the second on the head, you have to give it away. And it's like really pressure. And you get, yeah. when I used to teach that in class, you'd have students arguing with each other, full on arguing about why you have to just give me my, that number. Proper. Like you get to lunchtime afterwards and you see them not talking to each other. <laughs> You're like, what are you doing? What are you doing, man? You broke him. You broke him again. So it's really funny. All right, so on to Aryan perimeter. We're going to start off with a little activity for you to do. All right, so bear in, bear in mind who it is. So, uh, share my screen again. A new title, please. So, your title is uh, going to be. Uh, I'm going to change the order though. Perimeter and area rather than area and perimeter because I think perimeter is easier than area so i think it would be wise to do perimeter first area can be more complicated all right uh, okie dokie no problems okay so right here we go and now we have uh, click, copy, and paste. <laughs> Here we have, whoops. Here we have six different shapes. All right. Now, your job, depending on who you are, right, you've got like different levels of jobs. Okay. Some of you's jobs, if you're say your year three, your job is to draw the shape and make sure the labels are correctly. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be accurate, but obviously using a pencil and a ruler would be ideal. Draw a nice straight line. Okay, so this is, um, this is a triangle, obviously. Yeah, I'm just going like, to label it, yeah? Um, and if you can as well, year threes, any lines that are missing, are you able to write down what labels they are? 
Okay. So, for example, Millie, Millie, can you yeah. see? Can you see this shape? So let's go. For, I'm going for the uh, uh, Jack, Jake, Jake's sister, Millie. Hi, Jake's sister, Millie. That's good. Right. Oh, Donny, I just, I just had you on screen, then, and Jake's just. There, where, where have you gone? There you are, Millie. Can you see how this side here is 11 meters long? It's got 11 m there. Can you see that? Yeah. yeah? So what do you think? Can you see the one that's opposite? It's got the same distance. It's a so that one there will also be able. So what you'll be doing is drawing this out and then also putting eleven m there as well. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. And you'll be doing the same for this side. And everyone's going to do that, right? If you're in year, if you're going into secondary school, if you're going into secondary school, you're also going to be labelling all the corners of the shape, all the vertices. A, B, C or A, B, C, D and you must go around in either clockwise or anti-clockwise I did not know Yeah? So, you, so for this one would be A, B, C and D and someone like that Alright? Now, uh, I think everyone is in year 8 or lower so I think that mm -hmm. means we are in a... I don't think anyone else is in year 9 but I know um, I want Josh, Mel, Josh, Mel, mm -hmm. Caleb, Toby, Joe. I want you guys, I think, maybe Jake as well. I'm not too sure because I don't know Jake's abilities yet. So I want to just make him. I want you guys to do the following. So let's say you have the triangle. No, the, the, this rectangle that I've just gone around B. You're going to draw the triangle and underneath it, or do a rectangle, sorry, and underneath it, you're going to write some information about it. You're going to say that the, the side AB is equal to the side CD, which equals 11 meters. So you're going to write a fact about it. And mm -hmm. then you're going to do the same for the other two sides. So you're going to write that in BC, which equals AD, which also equals 3 meters. Okay. So you're going to be doing that kind of stuff and writing what you think are about all these different shapes. So that's Caleb, that's Josh, that's Mel, uh, Toby, and I th maybe Jake. I'm not sure of ability wise. I'm assuming so. And then, and then everybody else. You guys are going to be just drawing the so drawing the shape out, labeling the corners and any missing sides. Once you've done all of that. You then start adding the sides together and work out the perimeter for each shape. All right. So, Bradley, do you know what you're doing? I make. So, Bradley, you've got to draw the shape out. Yeah? Yeah. And then you've got to write that, right, label each corner, A, B, C, just so you know. And then what you've got to do, you've got to add up yeah. any missing length that's there, you've got to write it in. So, this is a missing length here. Do you know what this side is? So, Five, five, five things. So you're going to write all of them in. All the missing ones you write in, yeah? Once you've done that, add them all up and give me the perimeter. Okay. All right? So everyone knows what they're doing. I think you need 10 minutes. Yes, mm -hmm. Isabel? Um, what am I doing? I'm really you're going to be doing um, whatever you think is your level. So at least draw them, label them, and then fill in the missing sides and work it out. You may also, if you feel like it, start writing some of these facts down as well, if you feel up to it. All right? These facts here are like bonus for those that feel like they're, uh, they're, they're, they're progression. But I'm forcing you to do it. You don't all have to do this. All right? Any questions, send me a message or shout out. You've got 10 minutes work. Enjoy yourself. Yeah. Oh, what a woman do.
Uh, yeah, so uh, Maddie, can you hear me? Yeah. Right, what you're doing, you're going to draw the shape, label the corners, fill in the missing signs, and then work out the perimeter. And if you've done all that, then you can try and write down some of these facts about the shapes. Is that what I've got to do as well? That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. Who is that? Okay. Who is me. that? Who's me? That Caleb? Yeah. Ah, uh, Caleb, yeah. So you've got to do all what I've just said and write these facts as well about this. Okay. Right. Okay. And who else, who else is waving at me? Somebody with anything. Yes, Sydney? What you're going to draw the shapes for me. Shapes. Yeah? So you're going to practice drawing using a ruler and a pencil. Just like, little, just like little Millie, yeah? And also, no, both Millies actually, and yourself, you should be practicing drawing shapes. It's really important. So use a ruler and a pencil and try and draw in straight lines and stuff. Label it, label it all out. And if you can, it's Sydney. Fill in the missing sides as well, yeah? So little Millie, little Millie one, little Millie two, Sydney, Jack, yeah? Those guys, you're practicing drawing shapes because it's really important that you can use a ruler and a pencil. Izzy, is, like little Izzy as well. Yep, yeah, you're also practicing drawing if you can as well. But obviously, more important, can you act? Can you? Sorry? Amelia. Yeah, as well. Yes, Jay, yeah, you're, you're practicing drawing as well. Even though know, I've seen you do it earlier on, you're really good. So twelve. Right. Right. Equals how much was it? Twelve centimeters. Yeah. Yeah, we're in the middle. Someone need any help? Someone need help? Finish. Who's that? Amelia. Amelia, so what, you've drawn all the pictures? Yeah? And you've labelled all the corners? Yeah? So label them A, B, C, D or A, B, C like I've done. A, B, C and A, B, C, D and so. And then when you've done that as well, I want you to fill in the missing sides as well. Okay. You okay? You okay, Izzy? Yeah, great. Thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Awesome. Happy days. Mel, you're right out there in the sun. Yeah. Good. 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 Get in the tan. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Caleb. Got yeah. So, have you done all of it, Caleb? Yeah. All of it. Yeah, have done everything or not? Sure. What, the entire thing? So you've done all six shapes, labelled them all, you've worked out the perimeter of all of them. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't think so. Uh, yeah. right. No, I don't think so. That's good. Cool. I don't know, none of you are finishing. You're finishing quick, quickly last week. So. Yeah? I'm done. You're done? Have you drawn them all, Jack? Yeah. Wow. The answers and I'm done the sides. Brilliant. So what I want you to do now is can you add up the sides in each shape? Um, Have you done that already? Yeah. Already? Yeah. One, two, one. All six? Yeah. Oh my, what are you doing? That's rapid. 
Do I mean to add more That's really together? quick. Do I mean to add the answers together? Yeah, so so basically now so so you know that so the, so what did you get when you added these three together? Oh my god thousand centimeters. Okay, I'm, done now. I'm I'm happy with that. That's okay, good. Okay. Brendan, we did all three. You've done you've done all of them. All six. All six. All six. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're getting to, right, cool. So I'm gonna give everybody another thirty seconds. So those that have finished and are waiting. Yeah. Right. What I'd like you to do is because I don't need to rush the people that are still working because we've got another few minutes to go, right? So I don't want to rush those people. So those that are still working, please keep working and enjoy yourself. All right. Those that are those that are finished. Could you please draw yourself a tick in a cross box? And then we'll go for a quick game to see if you can see if you can win again. All right. What is this say? So those are, those that have finished, if you draw yourself a tick in a cross box like we did at the starter activity. And those that are still working. Feel free to carry on working, and we're going to go into about seven what? minutes. Past How do you do it, Rocks? The one like we did at the start, like we did at the start. Do you remember? You had the, uh, Mad Maddie's next to you. Maddie will show you. You should have a box like this. I know the box next to it. Oh yes. Yes, Josh. Yeah. One's a tick, one's a cross, like that. And I'm going to give you some numbers and you're going to put them in and hopefully your tick box is closer to 100 than your cross box. Okay. And I have to do a team. Wait, was this not the word? Right, you ready? Yeah. 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 Okay, then here we go then. I have the little I have the little thumbs up that's up the corner. Yeah, no problems. No problems, Beth. That's why we not pushing on it. Okay. Here we go. The first number is number nine. So those that are playing this game, I'm going to put number nine in. So I'm going to put my number nine in here. I'm going to be brave. I've gone brave on mine. I've gone brave here, Caleb. This is the win or, this is the win or lose move. Next is a uh, three. Um, yeah, put it in the top yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. Keep, I'm gonna keep it. Yeah, that's it. Oh, we need another one now. It's a four. Play one in this one. It's a four. So if I put a four in now, I need. Yeah, a zero. I, I really four. need a zero so bad. So yeah. bad. I oh. need a zero. Yeah. We lost. So we lost Jake. Jake. And then we need a one. Me. There you go. I've got another four. Number four. Hi Jake, you back. Yeah, wait, this one off. No reason. There's no chance that way. The Xbox is not. I'm gonna go through all these questions in a minute, so I'm just gonna get people chance to get get as far as they can. Another four? It's another four. Number four. If, I, if I put this here, I'm What's 80. I'll tell you what, I, could, I need that zero. I'm really bad now because I'm worried. It's an eight. Um it's an eight. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I've made the gamble now. I've made the gamble. She's brave. Speed dog. Yeah. He's calling me. Bradley, you calling me? Speed dog. I'm done. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I've got one more. One more number to give these guys. I could win or lose based upon this now because this one this box is now 130. Come on! I need a zero as well. Really bad. It's a three. It's a three. Oh, you were so good. 127. You're supposed to put the six somewhere. Where'd I think I've just, I've just, I won by three. <laughs> I won by three. Let's have a look here. 
Right then, I think it's time to go through the answers of these questions. Right, so I need to minimize the place a bit. Right, okay, so we're going to go through these answers and just say, you know, just with the perimeter to start off with, yeah? Um, so let me just rub this off a sec. So, first of all, this one was okay because it's already pretty much labeled. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna show everyone how to do each one. So, you have A, B, C triangle, A, B is five centimeters, B, C is four, and A, C or C, A is three. Add them all together, five add four is nine, add three, that's 12. So, the perimeter equals centimeters. All right. Now this one, yeah. um, can I have little milli one? We have, this is 11, remember? But then now, yeah. I remember that this one here has to be three meters to match with his partner. Mm -hmm. So all together, 11 it's and three is 14. I did say name just to say that you got me this, didn't you? I'm gonna say little milli, not, I said not, not little milli one, not little milli two. So milli one is Jake's sister and milli two is Maddie's sister. So. 11 add 3 is 14, 14 add 11, 28. 25 add 3 is 28, so the perimeter here is 28, so, and it's meters not centimeters, okay. right, and this one here, uh, obviously it's a square, so all of these should be 5, it's 20 centimetres. It is 20 centimetres. Who said that? Was that milli two? Yeah. Yeah, mm. the perimeter here is 20 centimetres. Well done. You're, you're okay, Izzy, have you got a thumbs up, Izzy? Izzy, one, have you got a thumbs up? Izzy, it? Isabel, yeah. So, Izzy, yeah, thumbs up. Great, thank you. Keep an eye on you, Izzy, keep an eye on you. Isabel, you okay with all this so far? <laughs> Isabel? Hey. Yeah, that's you. You're right with it. I'm really confused. Uh, yeah. yeah. Good. I call Iz I don't call you Izzy. I've never called you Izzy. I've always called you Isabel. So, A, B, C, and D. This is six e. centimeters. This is four centimeters. You add them all together. Twenty, 20 centimeters. Twenty centimeters. Mm -hmm. This one's A, B, and C. Right, 18, 33. 18 at 11 at 14, 38, 39. Perimeter equals 43. And then you have another 30, 15, 19, 19. You can still label them A, B, C, D. Add them all together 16 and 30. Perimeter equals 90 centimeters. 90. Centimeters or correct? 90. Caleb, is centimeters correct? Uh, no. Yeah? No, it's not correct. It's millimeters. Uh, well, we got one wrong. It's millimeters. No, oh, not sorry. Millimeters. I knew I caught you. I caught you. I caught you. Stacking. Yep. And I didn't even. Um, 90 millimeters can go into 9 centimeters. Oh, yes, it could. It could indeed. I could change it to 9 centimeters. I could. I'm going to look at that in a second, actually. But that's the perimeter. All right. It's 12 minutes past. So to start looking at area, 12 minutes past is a bit, a bit short. So we're going to look at area next week, but we are going to do something else now. A bit of learning about a mixture of language and mathematics together. All right. So and then the area we're going to look at, because the area is going to be quite... Um, complex because you can different shapes we've got rectangle we've got triangle we've got square we've got trapezium we've got parallelogram we've got circle so we've got lots of different shapes we can do for area so therefore we can hold fire on that um until next week so next week we do area so this week is perimeter and area. all right so but i want to do something else now about units of measure all right, so there's nothing to write down at the moment. There's nothing to write down. I want you to look at this units of measure. This is what we're looking at. So we've already looked at millimeters, meters, centimeters. Uh, but I'm just going to stop the share so I can talk to you all as a group.
Ah, there we go. Right, so, so what we're going to look at here now is the language that we've used to talk about how we measure things. All right, so we've got things like uh, centimeter, meter, kilometer. We've got seconds. I'm not too sure about seconds, but we've got we've got grams. We've got milligrams, kilograms, liters, centiliters, milliliters. Yeah. So you've got these these constant things happening and appearing over and over again. Centi, 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 milli, milli, milliliter, millimeter. You could actually have a milligram. Got the millennium. That milli is there all the time. We've got we've got two millis in the group. Yeah, so you've got we've got millis, right? You've got centi. Has anybody heard the word centi before or cent or as in C E N T? Anybody? If you ever heard of, if you ever known it, no. sorry, the Joe. Can we all hear what Joe's got to say? No, no he's got something to say. No. So have you, um, Joe? Have you heard of the word centi before, Joe, or cent or something? Yeah, it's a hundred, isn't it? A hundred. Where do you, where have you heard that from, though? School. School. But why is it a hundred? Because a centipede has a hundred legs. A centipede might have a hundred legs. That's <laughs> true. What about? If you're playing cricket, if anybody knows about cricket, and you score a hundred runs, century. they call that a century. century. What about a percentage? What is a percentage always out of? Hundred. A hundred. That's how cent means there's something going on about the number one hundred or the quantity one hundred. Does that make sense? Yeah. Milli has another number attached to it, not a hundred, has its own um, number. Milli is a thousand. Why do you have people call the millennium babies? So everyone that's 20 years old is a millennium baby. Do you know why they're called a millennium baby? Nope. Anybody? Yeah. No idea? Mm. Mel? Josh? Yeah. yeah. Any idea any idea why Josh? See yeah, they're born in. They're, 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 they're 20 years old now. So why would they be called a millennium? Why are you called a millennium child? Oh, because they were born on 2000. Because they're born year 2000. And therefore, if you're born on that kind of year, you're called a millennium child. Okay? So that's what milli stands for. It stands for the number 100 in, I want to say Latin. Could be, could be Greek, could be Latin. It depends. I'm not too sure. I don't want to say anything that's incorrect. It's either Greek or Latin, but milli is um, the, 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 the prefix for a thousand times smaller or a thousand. And then you've got centi, which is a hundred. Then you've got kilo, which is also a thousand. But it's the other, uh, the other side. So a milli takes something a thousand times smaller. A kilo takes something a thousand times bigger. So a kilometer is a thousand meters. A millimeter is a meter chopped into a thousand pieces and getting one of them. Who am I? Who's? Say that again. Milly, say that again. Oh, no. No, we've lost, we've lost Milly. We've lost Milly's wife. They're frozen. A thousand millimeters is one meter, if that's what you're saying. A thousand millimeters is one meter. Correct. All right, good. And we have some other prefixes that I want to talk about as well. So not just about units of measure, but I want to talk about some other stuff. So if you heard the word BI, as in by, like bicycle, what number do you reckon would be occurring with that prefix? Anybody? Two. We got. Um, Joe thinks two. Hayden, what do you think? Two. 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 Yeah. Two. Imagine okay. something called binary. So if I say, if I want to do like a, there's another way of, there's another way of, there's another way of doing um, um, the, the 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 number two as well. It's got because in French they have the word de for two. So if you heard the word duet, that would mean two people. So de is also something as well as by. Uh, what about try is in T R I? Three. 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 Yeah, we've got people throwing three. Yeah, yeah. So in my arm, 
I have some muscles. Well, not very big ones because uh, I haven't been working out because I've been on lockdown. But anyway, the, the, but, uh, I, I, I need mus the muscles out at the top here, right? They're called biceps. You got three. No. Biceps. Two, two, two. two. So there are two muscles in this area here. And in the bottom here, in the back of the arm, these are called the triceps. Three. There are three muscles in there. And in the top of your leg, where your lap where your lap is forming you sit down, called your quadriceps. Four. Four. So can you see how maths is involved in everything? Yeah, mm -hmm. quadriceps, triceps, biceps, biannual. If you see, if you see the word biannual, something it means every two years. Biannual means twice a year. Yeah, you have all these different things. You got a bicycle because you got two wheels. You got a unicycle. You got one wheel. You got a tricycle. You got three wheels. You got a quadricep. Quad, a quadricep. You got four. A quad bike. You got four wheels. Yeah. So yeah. all these numbers work. Taking that back now to units of measure, we need to remember that these things happen all the time. So, before we, before we play uh, another game, let us have a look at the different units of measure. Milli. This means thousand times <coughs> smaller kilo this means a thousand times larger and centi means a hundred times smaller those of you that are um, uh, year seven and above pretty much year six and above really need to know this stuff mm -hmm. and be able to come to, to understand what these three mean because they will help you to remind to remind you in the future okay any questions no. great so some games to play some games to play um, while you're on lockdown, some maths games. All right, because I wanted to introduce some. I've got eight minutes, so I can introduce a couple of games. So first of all, we have the one called Squares. I think you've all, I think most of you will have played Squares before. Um, squares, where somebody just sets up some dots. Oh, Squares. Yeah. Squares. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. You have played. So, oh, 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 what pain is about? So you have some dots like this. I mean, you can You should do a square of dots, but let's just do it here. And what happens is you take it in turns having a go at joining them up horizontally or vertically. Right. So I'll play. I'll play a little game here now with Jake S. Hi, right, Jake. How are you doing? Good. All right. So I'm going to pass control as well as to Jake S. I can find you, Jake. There you are, Jake. So, Jake, you now have control of my computer as well as I have. Okay. All right. So, with your mouse, you're going to have to work. Off, you got, are, you got, are you using a mouse or are you using a laptop? What are you using? Um, laptop. Laptop. So, you got a mouse. Cool. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to join this line here because that's where I want to go next. Oh, no. All right. I this game so, Jake S., can you join any of the ones that you want to join? Uh, I'm <laughs> Great. Well done. And my turn. Uh, I'm going to go here. Oh, Jake, oh. come off my mouse, you. I'm sorry. Right. Now it's your turn, Jay. Uh. Great. Now, if I make the mistake to, and free up Jake with a... Jake, stop it! <laughs> free up Jake with a square, right? Jake has to take it. So, Jake, you take the square and you put a J inside it so that it's yours. Oh. Play this game for. Yeah. And then you get another goal. Um, oh, so we have to make a square? Yeah. And then we carry on playing like this. And then the winner is the person that ends up with the most squares overall. So okay. if, we, if, we, if we get to the end of the game, 
<laughs> square, square. And squares. Jay's got those two, but there's a B yeah. in all of these because I'm better than Jay. <laughs> then, I, then I win 4-2. Sorry, Jay. Good effort, man. Well played. Never mind. Next time. Yeah? So, um, Jay, stop messing with my mouse. Jake. E dog. Right, he's gone. So, so yeah. So that's so that's um, so that's one game to play. Any questions about that? E dog. That? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've already played the game. Great. Right. Wow. For those of you that want to make it a bit more interesting, mm -hmm. all right. You can have your dots as normal. But this time, inside each square, you put a number like three, minus two, four, and so on. And then when you make a square now, you don't put your initial in, but if it was J versus B, you have four points in there, minus two points in here, three points in here, and so on and so on. And then you'd actually have point system going on. So it's about which square you take rather than any square. So that is like to advance it even <coughs> if you wanted to. All right. So that's one game. And every week, I'm going to try and show you a different game that you can play on this paper and have some fun with people around you. All right. So I don't need to ask you what I want to teach, what we want to teach next week because, um, uh, because there is, um, uh, we've got to do perimeter. So uh, area. So that's not a problem. But are there any other topics leading on? We've got equivalent fractions that we're going to look at as well. Or is anything else that is on anyone's mind that we'd like to work on over the next few weeks before I finish up with a bit of a... No, Josh is shaking his head. Can we do... Mm. Uh, Negative numbers? Yeah. Yeah, okay, good, Jake. Thank you. Yeah, put that, get that in place. Yeah, definitely make no problems. Well, it might it might not be next week, or it might be a snippet of next week, but definitely the probably the week. Anybody else? No. All right. Nice. We're gonna play a game of skip to finish off. Game of skip. Very difficult to do this here, so you have to pay attention carefully. Right. So, skip is the seven times table. All right. So if you if you don't know your sevens, then um, you might you might want to kind of um, just like have them ready or maybe or even just enjoy getting it wrong it's a problem and learning all right so i start i when we start off with joe because i've got i've got an order on my screen here so i'm going to go in order so joe you're going to say one right nice and loud joe one, one. one. i'm going to say two then how then jack's going to say the next number along three, three. then little millie mil, mil, mil one you're going to say the next number? Did say you say it, Mill? Yeah. Do, do it on your fingers then so we can see. So Millie says four, great. And then and then we're going to go for Bradley? Five. Mel? Six. Izzy? Seven. Josh? Yeah. Eight. Hayden? Nine. Jay? 10. Caleb? 11. Jake? Yeah. Sydney? Yeah. Isabel? Right, we just stand around the room. Yeah. After, yeah. yeah. After 13? 2. After 13? 14. 14. Maddie? 15. 15. Where's Millie gone? Yeah, Millie. Millie. Oh, no, okay, cool. So that, 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 that's 15, right? So, Izzy, you said seven. If you were to do to say seven again, you don't say the word seven, you say skip. Yeah, you don't say seven, you just say skip. And also, Sydney. Now, Isabel, you had 14. You don't say 14, you say skip. Right? Any number that has a seven in it or is in the seven times table, we don't say it. We say skip. Are you ready? I'm changing the order. So I'll be ready for it. Jack, first number, please. Jack, first number. One. Little Millie. Millie, one. Two. Good. Bradley. Three. 
Mel? Four. Izzy? Five. Five. Josh? Six. Hayden? Seven. No! Hayden! You don't say seven what you say, Hayden. Skip. Skip. I got one. I got one. I got one. All right. So, start again. Start again with Bradley first number. Bradley first number. One. Mel? Two. Izzy? Three. Josh? Four. Hayden? Five. Jay? Six. Caleb? Six. Can Sorry? I say it? Skip. Can I say the number? No. Skip. Skip. Jake? Uh, eight. Eight. Isabel? Is it, sorry, Sydney? Nine. Sydney, sorry, first. Sydney, first. Nine. Izzy? Ten. Maddie? Maddie? Eleven. Joe? Twelve. Eleven. Yeah, got it. Joe, twelve. Me, thirteen. Me, thirteen. Me, thirteen. Jack? Yeah. yeah, well done. Millie, how are you going to do this number with your fingers? Millie two, Millie one. You got, after, after, what are you going to do? 14. To borrow somebody's hand. <laughs> borrow Jake's hand. Oh, you need to hold it. <laughs> yeah, how many? Three. Yeah, good, 15, Bradley. 16. Yeah, Mel? 17. It's not in the two, it's not in the seven times table, but it's got a seven in it, so that would also be a fail. <laughs> well, not really a fail, it's like a ah uh ah, -uh, crosses. Right, good. That's another game you can play. It gets very. Wait, so it's in the seven. It gets, Wait, anything seven in, in it. Anything in the seven times table has got a seven in it. The game can be in intense. So before we finish, I'm going to pick on somebody to battle against. You can have a war, you can have a battle against. Who would like to battle me? Um, Joe's first hand. Right, so I'm going to mute everybody except for Joe. Uh, uh, I don't do that now. I can't imagine. Oh, God. I'll mute myself. I'll mute myself. Many participants. Mute all. Yes. Right, I'm going to unmute Millie, Joe. Millie, just unmuted yourself. Oh. M Millie's not muted. Oh, there. There we go. So you're all muted then, yeah? Great. So, Joe, the pressure's on now. We're being recorded as well. <coughs> We're going to play skip one-on-one. -on -one. Everyone's watching. The game's on. Are you ready? Yeah. One. Is it seven still? Sevens, yeah. Anything in sevens. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Skip. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Skip. Fifteen. <laughs> Sixteen. Skip. Eighteen. Nineteen. <laughs> Twenty. Skip. Come on. Twenty-two. Twenty-three. Twenty-four. Twenty-six. Skip. <laughs> Skip. Ah, Twenty-nine. <laughs> Thirty. All right, you can get rated. All right, it's, it's too good. I can't beat him. I can't beat him. It's too good. It's too good. It's too good. I can't beat him. It's a draw. Well played. Well played. Well played. Well played, my friend. Well played. Right, and so. All of you, it's been emotional. Time for us to make a move now. Time for us to go. So I'll see you guys next week, 10.30. Yeah? yeah. Hope you enjoyed yeah. it. Area yeah. and then infractions and Give also negative numbers. Take care, man. Bye. 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 Bye.